You love to sing, but no matter how hard you try, your voice just isn't improving in the way that you would like. Well, good news, this video is for you. Here are 15 reasons why your voice isn't improving and more importantly, what you can and should do about it. Stick around, your voice is on the verge of something better. Sound check. Check one, check two. G'day, welcome back to Voice Essentials, the YouTube channel where everybody sings. My name is Dr. Dan, and it's my tremendous privilege to guide and instruct singers just like you towards a better voice. And while it's the birthright of every human being to sing, here at Voice Essentials, we know that the necessary skill acquisition of singing doesn't just happen. It takes time and effort. You see, your voice won't improve if you don't practice. I think some singers step into my teaching studio expecting me to wave a magic wand and grant all their vocal wishes without any real work on their part. Alas, I don't own a magic wand and every student of singing soon learns that this singing thing takes time and requires a commitment to a learning pathway designed to develop the voice. I'm fond of saying practice makes permanent. This means that practice alone is not the key to better singing. No, you need to make sure you are practicing the right technique for your chosen genre. Otherwise, you'll be setting the voice up to fail even before your practice session has started. Now the third reason, yes, if you're counting, the third reason your voice may not be improving like you want is that you may not be practicing correctly. For instance, I'm continually reminding singers to not over practice. Your voice isn't designed to go non-stop. It needs rest, so give it some. And when you do practice, be sure to ease your voice into the session with at least 10 minutes of warm-up activities. Always remember to prepare the voice before you use the voice. Sometimes when I talk with students about what type of music they would like to sing, I receive a blank stare in response. Often this void reply is caused by a lack of listening on the part of the singer. I'm not sure who said it first, but there's a rather famous saying amongst musicians, and that is, music is listening. If your vocal development is somehow falling short, start listening more. Get to know the key artists in your genre. Listen to them and understand them. You might be surprised how this influences the development of your own voice. The artists that you listen to become informal teachers in the genres you are interested in. And this is important because often the fifth reason a voice might not be improving is that it has not experienced the benefits of a good singing teacher. There really is no substitute for an experienced and educated singing teacher who can direct you and your voice along a structured pathway of learning. But we have to be careful here because the wrong teacher can do more harm than good. If you want to improve your voice, make sure you find yourself with the right teacher. So for example, if you sing contemporary genres like rock, pop, country or jazz, I would advise finding a singing teacher who not only teaches repertoire from these genres, but more importantly, teaches the correct technique for these contemporary styles. Always remember, classical technique will not serve contemporary singing. Find the right teacher. The other benefit of working with the right teacher will be found in their ability to challenge and stretch your voice. If you've ever had the opportunity to work with a personal trainer at the gym, you will know how much further they will push your body than if you had simply done the workout under your own steam. Well, a good singing teacher will do the same for your voice, always challenging you to step outside your comfort zone safely. Now, hey, we're halfway through your list of 15, so I hope you'll take a quick moment to hit the thumbs up button if you're enjoying the video. I'm glad you're enjoying the video because I love bringing you great advice based on the latest understandings of the human voice and how we can better use it for singing. One of the dangers of accessing information on the internet, in this case from people calling themselves singing teachers or vocal coaches, is the lack of governance around who can call themselves such. Now, singing teaching is an unregulated industry, so virtually 
anyone can hang a shingle and call themselves a singing teacher. Well, the problem here is rather obvious. How do you, someone who might be relatively new to singing with limited knowledge about vocal anatomy and singing pedagogy, discern whose advice to take and whose to ignore? Well, it can be difficult, but I would suggest that you allow your voice to be the judge. It's all too easy to be captivated by a prominent personality on YouTube, but be sure to ask yourself the all important question, is this person saying or showing me anything that I can directly apply to the improvement of my own voice. Don't just take their word for it. Now, as I'm saying this, I'm conscious that some of you may be thinking, well, shouldn't we apply the very same principle to you, Dr. Dan? To which I wholeheartedly say, Yes, absolutely. A silver play button on YouTube does not qualify me to educate other people's voices. But my research doctorate and 25 years of actual singing teaching, not to mention 25 years of professional singing experience, does qualify me to offer the following advice. Be careful who you entrust the development of your voice to. Please trust me when I say that some of the things I've heard recommended here on YouTube can lead to significant vocal damage, so be careful. And while we're on the topic of who we should and shouldn't listen to, let's talk about the naysayers in your life. Learning to sing, especially when we first start out, is a game of confidence. The antithesis to self-belief is negative Nellies who would seek to crush your dreams and tell you that you're wasting your time. Don't listen to them. Remember, learning to sing is a skill-based task and it will take time for your sound to develop. So be patient, be systematic, trust the process, even when the product you so keenly desire is not so easily seen or heard. Notice what I just said, be systematic. Good learning doesn't happen randomly. Sure, we can learn many things in life through random events, but good singing is developed when we systematically build our skill set. One skill at a time. If you're looking for a trustworthy evidence and research-based structure for learning to sing, then I know you'll love my 10-module online singing course. I'll leave a link in the description section below for you to check out at the end of this video. But before you run off to check out the course, let's complete our list of 15 reasons why your voice might not be improving. Now, number 12, Yes, number 12, if you've been counting along, notes the importance of observing best practice for things such as vocal rest, hydration, as well as life choices such as alcohol consumption and recreational drugs. Ask yourself, what are you doing in your everyday life that might be undermining all your excellent work in vocal practice? Now, I mentioned it quickly before, but it's worth its own point. Be sure to warm up the voice whenever you sing. And this doesn't mean only when you perform. A well-considered vocal warm-up will lead to longer practice times, more fruitful practice times, as well as quicker recovery rates after practice. If you want to get the most out of your practice, make sure you do a vocal warm-up first. And it's right about now that you might be saying to yourself, this guy wants me to wrap my voice up in cotton wool, protecting it from every and any possible danger. Well, it is true. I want you to look after your voice with a heightened sense of diligence, but with equal measure, I want you to take risks also. Calculated risks, but risks nonetheless. One such risk might be to tackle that problematic song you've always admired, or perhaps it's time to take the next step and perform publicly. When we choose not to take risks, we cage the voice, which in turn restricts development. I've got one more reason why your voice might not be improving, but I'm sure I haven't covered every reason in this video, so be sure to leave your comments below listing any and all of the reasons that I've missed. The final reason which might lead to your voice not improving is an incorrect understanding of how the voice works. If your brain has misunderstandings about how to produce efficient sound, then your voice will be significantly hindered in its development. One key area that every singer should understand is vocal registration. Click on this video and I'll teach you more about this important and fundamental area of learning to sing. I'll see you in a sec. I'm Dr. Dan. Sing well.